there may still be work to be done, but today had an air of finality with most equipment departing. On a first visit to the causeway this morning, the crew from Priestley appeared to be working on the guardrails on the south side. It was time to take a second look when a float truck arrived to load the case excavator. This development had been anticipated after all the accessories, buckets, grabs and shears departed yesterday. With such a heavy load, positioning has to be near perfect. Despite the enormous strength of these machines, it doesn't hurt to give them some protection. But when the coffee arrives, everyone takes a break. Suitably refreshed, it's time to make sure that the load is completely secure. A wise and experienced driver will always give that ratchet one more push. Little time is wasted in bringing the tractor back to join the unit. It makes a very positive connection. There's then the matter of connecting up, adjusting the bed and making sure that everything is secure. Departure then is a straightforward affair, and before you know it, the last major piece of equipment has departed the site. Not too much later, it's the turn of the inflatable boat to depart. We'll end this short update with a look along the length of the causeway so that you can see just what the situation is as we head towards the next weekend. Jumping the canal for a look at the east end, it's clear that there's still a certain amount of material on hand, including the bridge deck, and it will be interesting to see what becomes of all these items in the days ahead. As we finish this quick review of the causeway, there's good news, potentially, we'd like to preserve something of the bridge in the continuing presence of this central gear. Thanks for watching.